Amen. God bless you, family. God, welcome to the Five Minute Blaze with your brother DJ Sam Rock. I'm here to tell you one thing and one thing only. Jesus understands. The Lord Jesus. I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the one who was virgin born. I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Savior, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I'm talking about Jesus Christ that said, and I quote, he's the only way to God the Father. Talking about that Jesus, amen. In Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 3, scripture says it like this He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. That's tough right there, right? Matthew eleven twenty eight. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Wow. So Jesus understands when we are despised, when we are rejected, when we're going through something that is painful, when we're going through deep grief and pain, Jesus understands. So therefore, I don't worship a God who is so out of tune with how I feel. Amen? In politics... A lot of us usually say, and I've said it too because a lot of times it's true, a politician who has never struggled, who's never lived in a hood, never was on public assistance, never had very little in the fridge, never had any issues with life insurance, health insurance, dental policies or nothing like that. We always say they're out of touch with us. They don't know what's going on. They went from good to good to better. They went maybe out of college, straight into politics. They're not in touch with our feelings. They're not in touch with our pain and struggles. A lot of them are like that. I'm not saying all politicians are like that, but a lot of them um, that you hear about and that I hear about are like that. They're out of touch and they don't have our mindset. But the Lord Jesus understands. Isn't that incredibly more important that the Lord Almighty understands when I'm going through rejection, sorrows, pain, grief? Then Jesus says, listen, I want people like you. I want people who are in pain and suffering because I've suffered. I felt pain. Jesus is saying, come to me, all of you who carry those heavy burdens, and he himself will give us rest. Jesus calls on you. He calls on me. He calls us to him, not to a religion, not to a specific church building. No, Jesus calls on you. To come to him for rest because he fully, fully understands physical, emotional, mental, and even spiritual pain. I'm going to say that again. He fully understands your physical, your emotional, your mental, and your spiritual pain. And on top of it all, he can fully comfort you. He can fully bring you to a place of peace. Why? Because he cares for you. There is no other message on this planet Earth that has the message of the Christian gospel, that has the message of the Christian God, that he understands us. Jesus understands our struggle, our pain. He understands it all. Even our anger, yet he did not sin when he got angry. He understands our struggle. He understands our temptation, although he, his deity was never tempted because he's God. But if you read the scripture, Jesus, after he received the Holy Spirit, he was put into the wilderness for 40 days um, and 40 nights with the devil himself. And the devil himself was tempting Jesus, if you read that in the scriptures. So that's what we have. We have a God who understands. Amen. So let me pray you out. Father, I thank you for the invitation that you've given us today on this 5-Minute Blaze to trade our burdens for your rest. Please fill every soul that's listening to this podcast right now with your peace according to your word. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Listen, if this bless you, this 5-Minute Blaze, I want you to connect with me at soulwinnerswithaz.org. You could email me at djsamrock at soulwinnerswithaz.org. If you have any questions, comments, prayer requests, concerns, anything like that, please reach out. 
And until the next time, it's your brother, DJ Sandrock. God bless you. God keep you. And remember always that God is good. Peace.